Hello, welcome back. This is Jim Lewis at Model Train Technology. What we're going to demonstrate now is the new feature of auto ranging or auto setting of the precision sensor. Here's the precision sensor. Sensor's on this side. Let's move it in a little bit. And there's a push button uh, here that we added uh, several months back instead of the dip switches that we had before. Much easier. Uh, to configure it, particularly if you're reaching around the layout and trying to get something to happen. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use our railroad crossing in a box here. We're in the middle of putting this together for a customer. And um, I'm going to flip this around so you can see what we're doing and how this auto ranging uh, setup works. All right. So uh, the the range can be set with a screwdriver and adjusting this little trim pot. And if you have access to it, you can adjust it uh, very nicely. And you can just see if we put the uh, train car in front, uh, it detects the train. All right. So we'll go around to this side and you'll notice that there's no pickup. Uh, and so what we're going to do, what we would typically do is to take this little screw and adjust it until the light comes on. So no light. Till the light comes on um, right about there and and that's good so you can see how that works all right so what we're going to do is we're going to set it to zero and uh, i had already played around with this it's already detecting it but let's say that we want the range to be out here all right i have to get in there with a screwdriver and change it so what i do is i push and hold this button a light goes on because i set it and then it goes off and comes back on and it will blink 10 times. And so uh, you've got time to just make sure this is right, move the car around, get it on the track. And so it's gonna auto range uh, this coal car here and it'll blink very fast when it's doing it. And it's set. So if the train car pulls away you can see that this, this sensor went off, uh, turned off, and it comes back on. And uh, we can even set it to the zone range, two push buttons. So no train will be detected here, but the train out on the second track uh, gets picked up. Okay? Right. Okay, so let's rearrange re it again back onto this track. You'll see that the zone uh, is preventing it from picking up. We're just going to hold the button. It's going to go off. As soon as it comes back on, we've got to wait 10 seconds. I think that's three, four. Okay, so now it's come back on, it's recycled, and it's set to go. You can see that it's uh, picking it up nicely. Now let's fix this one here. I'm going to set this to zero. So the way you, you use the auto detect is set the, the sensor to zero. Push and hold the button. When the light comes back on, you can release it and you can fiddle. Oh, it's not that car I want to check. or I want it to be some other distance and it'll blink and it'll give you uh, plenty of time to get that set up. And there you go. So now it's set to that exact distance. All right. So out here it doesn't trip it. Right? You see that? Nothing's tripping it, but once it gets inside the train on the on the rails, uh, it'll trip it. And um, you may have noticed that we have the flashers going. I'll show you show you that here. Okay. So put the train on the track and there you can see the flashers there we lift it up a little bit more. You can see it. Let me get my hand out of the way. Off. On. Okay, so that's auto ranging with the uh, precision detector 
from Model Train Technology. If you want more information, uh, this video is, uh, is posted on our webpage, and uh, our website is modeltraintechnology.com. Thanks for watching.